Yeah. Hey guys. Money, man. You know, Welcome back to the uh, channel. Thing where he gets, uh, you know, whatever the highest running back in the league is getting like Walmart two mil. Came. I think it was, it Let's see back up. I was like, what? No, these people come to see you. But no, I, they don't. Whatever. She was all whispering her intro. Hi guys, I'm here. <laughs> Many thanks. Background. Hey guys, like welcome to the video. It's been it's been a while since I recorded a Walmart haul video. We got Pops here. Pops came to help Kilo work in the car. So um, in the next clip, you're going to hear them chit chatting, but that's okay. Just pretend that they're not talking. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got from Walmart, and let's take a look at it. Set up. So, I actually Googled a couple new recipes, and so I got the ingredients for them. I'm going to show you. But first, yeah, babe, this is natural vlog. It's a natural know, vlog. But, don't be but, afraid but to talk. You can just put this in. I don't want to be like, but like, um, you should say, because you, you just said about the, um. New dishes. New recipes. And you should say that it's inspired by the vitamin, whatever. The, it's not you know, trying to, you know, for both the iron and it's not you're trying to encourage all that stuff. Oh, it know? is, it is. Okay, yeah, one, of, one of these recipes that I'm going to talk about and that I'm going to be making, and I'm going to show you the ingredients for it. I'm going to tell you the ingredients for it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But it's supposed to be good for um, iron intake. And if you follow my channel, you know that I have an iron intake problem. So, but first we're going to start off with flour tortillas, the cheapest one. We got two of them because I'm in the mood for some tacos. We have a bag of onions. If you don't know, um, your girl is pinching, so you ain't going to get this big extravagant uh, food stamp. I mean food stamp. Food stamp. Food haul. Because it ain't here. We got honey wheat. I like the honey wheat. Pops, you like honey wheat? Honey wheat bread? Yes, but the carbs are too high. I would love to be able to eat it though. Really? Yeah, what's the carbs on that one? Um, a slice? A slice. Carbs. Yeah, whatever it says it's a slice. Calories. Carbs below it. Oh God, my brain. My eyeballs. Total carbohydrates, 13 grams a slice. Well, it's better than white bread, right? No. Sometimes they're higher. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Um, uh, oh, God, so we got some <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> we splurged. Yeah. We splurged on this one, guys, because yeah, it's $13. Like that, you know? awesome. But I'm going to split these in half, and then Kilo cuts them in, in half. So that's how we pinch when it comes to meat. Then I got this big thing, $17 for this big pack of chicken breasts. So I'm going to cut this in half. Probably a quarter of this is going to be cut in chicken tenders. Um, a quarter, another quarter is going to be cut like real thin slice so I could bread it like um, ch for like chicken parm or something. And then the other part I'll probably just, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I got to do the meat. Then I got, for some hamburgers, I got some hamburger bread. Because when I'm being lazy, I will make uh, hamburgers or BLTs or uh, for lunch, um, chicken, uh, chicken salad or tuna salad or whatever. So, um, I've been... I've been making my own hamburgers, and I'll I'll show you what I do, uh, because it's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper, guys. And they come out like um, they come out like White Castle little mini burgers. They're cute. So I got I wanted to make pinchos, uh, shish kebab, and steak is so expensive, right? Because summertime's coming. I want to make some shish kebab. Um, steak is really expensive so I figured if I got this I have round thin it's eight eight dollars um, I can cut them in little 
pieces instead of buying the big chunks because the big chunks were like, oh girl, like $20. Um, and we could have some shish kebabs. And I also bought... I also bought... A couple of these. These were the cheaper peppers. Peppers are even expensive, guys. So, I got a couple of these. And I got some onion. And that's how I'm going to make my shish kebabs. Also, I got more yogurt. I got a tooth pulled, so... I'm going to eat mushy stuff. And as of right now, it's really been like a whole entire day that I really ate anything. But I'm alive. I got the tooth pulled and I'm alive. So, this is... This was only two bucks. Okay? And I guess this has iron in it. So, if you're looking for stuff that has iron to eat, to help your iron, the, uh, the eggplant, anything purple... So that's going to be for the new recipe, and that's going to go with sliced Italian bread, some tomatoes. Just stick around for the, for the recipe because I'm going to make it, and then you'll see. But it requires tomatoes, um, the Italian bread, grilled um, eggplant, and some mozzarella cheese. So I got some mozzarella cheese. I got the little one. It was only two bucks, so we can make this little recipe. The recipe that I'm gonna make is going to be, so this is like $150, $2. So let's just average two, four, six. So for $6, mm, let's say $6.50. For $6.50, I'm gonna be able to make this new recipe because it calls for tomato. And I buy the 46 cent tomatoes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could maybe use two tomatoes, so a dollar. So, boom, that's the recipe. Stay tuned for when I make it. Um, yeah. So, I bought two more of these because I make my own garlic bread. Uh, forget buying them because they're like three something or two something to, to buy them, and I save a dollar. By just buying the bread and adding garlic and butter. So with Walmart, you know, they have the substitutes. I really wanted frozen. I really wanted frozen um, mushrooms, but I guess they didn't have any. So they gave me these instead, which turned out to be cheaper, but not really cheaper because now I'm going to have to use all these before they go bad. Unless I can cook them and freeze them. Comment below. Can I, I, I'm going to have to Google it. I'll Google it. And I'll put it below if you can cook if you can cook, like, onions and... I don't see why not. If I can cook onions and mushrooms and, like, put them in a freezer bag and freeze them. Then I can use them for, like, when I... Sometimes. I know my body must be craving whatever is in mushrooms. Because I've been wanting mushrooms lately. Alright. So, we got some sharp cheddar cheese. Some cream cheese for Angie. And that goes... With the bagels, I will put my shopping list below so you can compare prices. Um, I usually try to stack up on corn, but I recently saw that if you look at the back of corn, it doesn't just say corn. So I was a little weary about that. I am trying to be more conscious about what I'm putting in my body. So, either get the frozen corn... Because you know it's just corn, right? Um, or get corn in the cob because you know that's just corn. But the corn in the can, I guess, says there's different ingredients other than just corn. So, I got so as I'm editing this video, I came to this part with the corn. And so, I mean, I saw this lady on YouTube and she's the one that said, right? But I didn't, I didn't do my research. So, I just did my research. I went on Walmart and I looked at the ingredients on the corn. And it does say corn and salt. 
I don't see any other crazy ingredients like the lady was talking about. She said there's some other ingredients that she can't... I don't know, I don't know. She was just talking about the corn. So that's why I decided to buy the frozen corn. But just do your, do your own research. If you look on the back of your can of corn and see anything other than just corn. I mean, I wouldn't see a problem with salt and corn and water. You know what I'm saying? That's okay with me. Anything else, I'd be a little skeptical. Anyway, carry on. Got a couple bags of frozen corn, a bag of frozen green beans, broccoli. I got two, two things of broccoli because we like broccoli. Hold on. We got the Entenmann's Little Bites. I actually got the cheaper brand. But I guess because they didn't have the cheaper brand, they had to give me the actual uh, brand, the uh, the Little Bites by Entenmann's brand for the same price. That's that's that right there is the best thing about ordering from Walmart because if they don't have what you want, you get the better brand for the same price. <laughs> right? Okay. And I save my bags because we use them for kitty litter. Or you can use them for other things. So, I finally got some sour cream. Mind you, I can't really eat anything crunchy right now. I got this steak because you could do a lot of things with this steak. And this steak right here is only $5. So, you get the taste of steak, like steak and cheese sandwiches. Or you can make um, Philly, Philly steak and cheese uh, mac and cheese with Philly steak and cheese mac and cheese. I don't know what the frick you call it, but anyway, you could do that. Uh, you can make beef stroganoff with it. A little different, but you could still do it. Um, so yeah, $5. I always try to get one of these. Meat for five. You can't find meat for like five bucks anymore, guys. So I'll take a little bit of protein in this. All right, so for my baby, um, she wanted she wanted these, and she wanted some chocolate. So we paid $6 for this family pack. It'll last for a while. She's not a real, like, sweet tooth type of girl. Like, she won't sit there and eat 10 of these at once. I know her. I got some Sloppy Joe, because I have a massive amount of ground beef. I'm really trying to stack up. Because I don't get a lot right now. And anything that... We're, I told you, we pinching again, okay, guys? So, little by little, I'm stacking up. I'm really trying to think about what I'm cooking for dinner and how I can reuse it. Like I always been. But, like, the other night, I tried to make... I wasn't in the mood for meat. I'm really not a big... I'm really not a big meat eater. So, for me to go without meat, I'm okay. But Kilo's not. And I made some egg rolls chicken egg rolls to me the meat was in the chicken egg roll but to him he was like what is this so i made chicken egg rolls with chinese what did i make it with chinese rice or chinese noodles i did something he wasn't going for it i think he made himself a hamburger that night he was mad man. i don't need meat all the time oh i got two full size spaghettis i didn't get the half ones um, I got a cantaloupe. Kilo's on a fruit kick, and I could eat cantaloupe. Uh, okay, so I got more corn. Angie loves corn. I got pepper and onion blend for when I want to do like steak and cheese or something. Um, I got chopped spinach because occasionally I will make some. Uh, you guys know the recipe that I make, and if you don't, you can go look for it. Um, it's a pinch of penny recipe, and it's sausage, creamy sausage pasta. And that is when I throw some spinach in there. Spinach and kale, and it's so good to me. Maybe the sausage is not really that good, but sausage is like $3, okay? So if you got to use sausage, guys, use the cricket sausage. And these were on sale, even though... I probably won't buy another bag. I still have potatoes, and I could just cut the potato wedges. But I wanted to get these just to have them for when I'm lazy. Right? Right. So that's that. 
Here, I'll show you something. This is where this is where I'm putting all of these freezer over here, which I do need to organize it, but now is not the time. So, what else do we? Oh, I got another mayonnaise because I always try to stack up on mayonnaise, especially because summertime is coming, and it's gonna be hot, and I'm not gonna want to cook. So I have a thing in there for mayonnaise, a backup. I have one in the fridge. All right, so now we're going to break up the meat. <laughs> I forgot to show you this. Usually I get the 397 kind. But this time I paid $5. And I paid $5 because I got way more bacon, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half, put it in a freezer bag and freeze it. So then basically I got two for the for less of a price than for paying almost $4 for one. So this was five something and it's 24 ounces. So I'm getting more because usually I only get like maybe that much for four bucks. See, you got to think like that. Think like that. I mean, it's great. It's great to be a couponer and to get free food, but not all of us people know how to do that. So that's what I did with this. This is the first time I'm doing that. But I have cut bacon in half before and froze it. And then, you know, because I haven't froze it yet. I can't freeze it, so I'm gonna cut it and freeze it. All right, let's go. Back in the day, I used to save all my bags for the kitty litter. The plastic bags would work way better. But, hey, if they're only, I'm, I'm like, I'm happy that they're giving away some kind of bags. Um, because I could definitely use them for the kitty winner. And I do. We're kind of, we're kind of hoarding these bags, if I'm going to say. Because we have a lot of them. At this point in time, we're kind of like bag hoarders. Babe, okay, we're bag hoarders. We're definitely hoarding these. I mean, but when it gets too much, only because these are good and they're not ripped. I'm saving them. Oh, we really don't have that much. Kilo, did you throw? Did you throw some out? Yeah, I did actually. Okay, so he's not hoarding. So he nope, did. Back to normal. He threw some out. So now we got more. These. He likes these ones. Like so. Anybody need a bag? <laughs> and then I stick them behind the I stick them behind the fridge. I really need to clean out the fridge, guys. Comment below if you want to see me clean out my fridge. I'll show you what it looks like right now. 
É... É... Well, Kilo had this method of putting all the condiments in the bottom here. Right down there. And putting all of the vegetables and the fruit over here. If you ask me, it's not really working well, but he likes it that way, so I'm not wrong. Okay. I don't know if I told you, but I always, I buy multiple breads and then I freeze my bread. I don't know if you guys do that, but if you don't and you got money and you need bread and you know you're going to need bread again, buy more and freeze it. Okay, so through that whole entire chicken, right, we're able to make, these are pretty big dinners because Lalo's coming home, so he'll be home all summer. So I, when I say we pinch and we really, we really won't have to pinch, I'm going to have my grown son here and my husband now, so it's not like, you know, it's just me, Kilo, and Angie, I'm cooking for my baby too, so anyway this is chicken tenders i got a decent amount this is i think three three of the chickens so we got some stuff to make chicken tender bread, breaded chicken tenders we have two chicken to boil boil these chicken i can make shredded chicken and i also could use this for like for an, another meal a whole nother meal um just that's that's an easy dinner right there we have chicken chunks for the kebabs, so we'll have some chicken kebabs and some steak kebabs, mostly steak, but that's an option, you know what I'm saying? 
Then we have the chicken cutlets, whether I wanna just make them as fried chicken breasts or I wanna use them for like chicken cutlets. So that's one, two, three, four, and most likely there'll be leftovers from the chicken tenders. And so this could be like five meals. One, two, three, four, possibly five right here. Here's six and breakfast. And then I have these that I'm gonna cut in half. Cause like I said, me and Angie, we don't eat a lot. Um, so maybe I'll eat like two pieces of fried chicken, maybe. Um, so I really don't need that that much meat. It's more for the guys. So I'm gonna cut these in half. So when he does it, he cuts this in half. So it makes it two pieces. You know what I'm saying? Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll be 16 pieces. Okay, so now we are on to the ground beef. And I'm gonna show you what I do. I kind of messed up last time. I made the hamburgers too small. Yeah, so I have to make sure that I do it right this time. So I'm gonna show you what I do. And it's a lot cheaper, okay? Because you get like eight hamburgers. You can go to the store and buy eight hamburgers and you're going to pay like $12 for eight burgers, okay? This costed, I believe it, I'll look at the price, but I know it was probably the same amount as you would pay for eight burgers. So, this is what we've been doing. So they're not going to be circle, they're going to be square. But have you ever tried to make a hamburger and like you make it and you make it into a little circle and either the middle doesn't get cooked or um, you start seeing the hamburger is like falling apart as it's cooking, yeah it like breaks apart. When you freeze these, they don't do that. I suppose you could do that in a circle and then freeze them and it would probably be the same thing but we don't eat big giant burgers. I mean. When Kilo makes a ham and cheese sandwich, he uses literally one piece of ham. Right, babe? Yeah. So, that's what it looks like. And then, take a little spatula. And, cut it. You've got to cut it. And then, cut it again. Boom. Put that right there. We're going to make another one. got one, two, three packs, so four, five, 12 hamburgers, a spaghetti, and a meatloaf. So that's, this could be one dinner if it's just me, Kilo, and Angie, because Kilo will get two, I will get one, Angie get one, and we might have to make two packs of these when Lalo gets here, but nonetheless. So we have two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Out of all the meat that we got, oh, plus the other steak, fourteen. So, 
So this grocery haul, I spent $150. So all that stuff cost me $150. Mostly all meat because it's the beginning of the month and I want to make sure that I have enough. Like, I do still have meat in the freezer. I still have some of this other stuff in the freezer. I got to make sure that we are doing what we need to do, right? And, and making it last. So, that is basically it for the video. I hope that I help somebody out by showing you guys my, my little tricks and my tips. Stay tuned for the special recipe that only costs like $6.50. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, until the next video or live, I will catch you on the flip side. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. And make sure you hit the like button. Because it makes me happy. Alright guys. Love you mucho. Catch you on the flip side. Many thanks.